Welcome back to my channel, it's Rene Marcus. Thank you so very much for tuning in. And if you're new to my channel, please do me that favor and press that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe. So it's just a quick video because I believe that the more and more I upload videos, the more I see and understand that more and more of my brothers and sisters in the diaspora want to relocate back to Africa, especially Gambia. It's one of the hot spots countries in Africa that my brothers and sisters want to relocate to. So I believe that this information that I'm about to provide to you will go a long way. This will help you so much when you want to buy your already built home in the Gambia. Because a lot of people have made the mistake where they're actually buying a home and not know what to look out for as long as the house looks okay everything looks almost new or brand new they're good to go but this is not the only things that you need to look out for when purchasing a house I already built home in the Gambia so stay tuned and watch till the end to know exactly what you need to look out for when you're ready to buy your dream home in the motherland so please make sure that you note down the important things so that you're ready when the time comes it's very important for you to know the type of accommodation you're looking for whether it's two three and four bedroom houses on sale in the gambia it all comes in different shapes and sizes some are described as villas when in fact they are just bungalows so it's important to check out the photos and see what the building actually looks like better still try and visit the sites yourself so it's always best to wait till you're actually in the country to have a look at the property before making any purchases. Always use the services of a qualified Greater Banjo based legal practitioner before entering or making any real estate decisions. They can carry out the property conveyancing process on your behalf such as searches at the Registry of Deeds, acquiring title deeds, preparing a draft contract for you, registration of the title deeds, stamp duty leases and other formal types of documentation. This is a tip do check your lawyer's fees and request for references. When looking to buy a home, see whether it has a flat roof. If it has, then make sure that it is lined with a waterproofing product as these buildings are prone to leaking. Also, do take a look at the ceiling for any signs of leak. If it has a corrugated or tiled roof, then look out for signs of damage on top as well as the ceiling. Repair costs could run into thousands of dollars, so this could be a negotiation item. The cost of replacing defective windows can be costly. If the property has sliding windows, then do check that all are sliding properly. Check to see that all the insect screens are properly fitted. The first thing you should check is whether the property is connected to the main grid supply from the Gambia's National Water and Electricity Company known as NAWIC. If not, then check to see if there are supply lines running outside the property as you may be able to apply to get connected to the mains. Though this can take some time, so do inquiry how long this is likely to take before deciding to buy. Get a fully qualified electrician, someone who has graduated from the Gambia Technical Training Institute, known as GTTI, to look over the quality of the wiring, particularly in the ceiling area, as you cannot be certain of the standard of work. To be really on the safe side, it might be advisable to rewire your new house completely with British standard wires by a fully qualified electrician under the supervision of an electrical engineer. This could include switches, sockets and distribution boxes. Mm -hmm. 
check that the property is connected to the water mains. In the Gambia, water meters are usually located just inside the compound near the front fence. If the building does not have a water meter, then look to see that your immediate neighbors have supplies. If they do, then you would be able to apply after you have acquired the property. Check all taps to confirm that they all produce running water. Get a fully qualified plumber to check for signs of leakage, incomplete joints, damp on walls and also check the manholes etc. Look at the outside of the house's wall near the ground for any signs of termites tunnels or leads rising from the ground if you do see signs then this is a possible indicator that the foundation did not receive proper treatment and you should automatically reject this property you should also look for termites inside the house at the bottom of the door frames walls and other areas this is very important as this could be a huge losses if you do not pay attention on the termites This will require the inspection of a pool engineer. There are a number of companies that sell supplies and construct swimming pools and may provide you with inspection services for a fee. If this is not possible, then get a good plumber to check over the performance of the pump in the pool house. And finally, before deciding to purchase a home in the Gambia, you are advised to seek out for the services of a fully qualified building structural surveyor to check over the property for any defect and to give you an idea of the cost of recertifying any problems. This will give you more leverage over negotiating for a lower price from the owner and possible big savings for you. After purchasing your Gambian home, you should consider installing, if your new home does not have one, a 1,000 or 2,000 litre reserve water tank, a generator, a solar hot water heater and a borehole. If it has a large garden, the borehole will almost certainly save you money on the future water bills. Guys, how was that? Did you enjoy this? please comment down below and tell me whether you did enjoy this because I did. I absolutely did. I loved it because I'm providing accurate information to my brothers and sisters wanting to relocate back to Africa. Guys, welcome. Nyolen, 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 Nyolen. We need you guys to come back and we want you guys to come back. And you guys are coming back with a great mindset. So how did you felt after listening to me does this give you a bit more idea of to what you want to do my previous video was about when you're building your own home in the Gambia things you need to watch out for and now Brother Marcos has given you ideas again tips guidelines on what to look out for when you're buying your own already built home in the Gambia I hope this was very helpful because I'm here to help so as much as I can, I will definitely deliver. Please comment down below and tell me what else you want me to tell you about, what information you want to know, so that you've already got these notes written down and you're ready to pack your bags when the borders reopen to move back to the motherland. See you in the Gambia soon and goodbye for now.